what happens is those little froggies that you move to grandma's yard or your yard that you've seen in the wild will spend the rest of their life leaving. They have a homing device and frogs want to go to where they were born. And even as a tadpole, they kind of know they don't belong there because there's five major things that frogs stay away from. One, pesticides. Two, construction. Three, loud noises. Four, no place to eat, no food, no mosquitoes, no slugs. And then the fifth one is because they don't want to be near a predator, so they're not going to live in a pond with another turtle or a koi because they know better. And they sense and smell bad water. And frogs are like the canary in the coal mine. How many do you know of the canary? They fly the birds in. If they're bad and the gases are bad, they fly back out. Frogs don't live where they know they don't belong because they sense that they shouldn't be there in the first place. So they won't stay there and they'll leave. So if you don't have frogs now, there's a reason that either the water is too splashy, your backyard has got a corridor around it of pesticides because of your neighbors, and the frogs will not cross that. So what I've been doing for 27 years, <laughs> I have one of the frogs. <laughs> Don't fit in it anymore. <laughs> My picture over here kissing this frog. Grendel was our mascot. He's 21 years old. He is a white tree frog from Australia. And if he's from Australia, kids, is that local? No. No. So what my job is as the frog lady is to take in frogs, turtles, lizards, and bugs. Frogs, turtles, lizards, and bugs. So people don't put these pets back in the wild. And so I rehab. The animals that were in the wild, they got injured. The Pacific tree frog that gets run over by a lawnmower, we have fixed their legs before and put them back in the wild. I have pinned frog legs, not eaten them. We can pin them with wire, fish wire, like fish line. Fixing them with wire. Yeah, I work at a veterinary hospital, so my history is this. When I was your age, I started working in a veterinary hospital with my, my uncle. So I started working with my uncle in a clinic, and I was six. So then I always wanted to be a veterinarian. I always wanted to work at the zoo. I always wanted to be a nurse for humans because I was always trying to fix things. And you know what I did? I did all the above. So I took herpetology in Florida. I went to vet school at Michigan State. I not only did four years, I did seven. I've gone to Beluga Whale. I ended up here, up in Canada, because I wanted to finish my, my studies with the Beluga Whales. And so, I've done everything from horses to frogs. I know, I've had horses too. So I've always been a rescuer, and so I have a good history and how to also help people to understand what's good in the wild, whether they're wild or whether you have a pet that is injured and need help. So I take in all the critters and disperse wherever they're supposed to go. So if it's not a frog or a turd or a lizard or a bug, we give them to the Herpetology Society if they're snakes. Because <laughs> kids, what are snakes to a frog? What's that Dangerous. word? Hey, what? Dangerous. Dangerous and? They are a predator. Guess who else is a predator to a frog? Tigers. 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 Cats. Dogs. What's the cat? Yeah. Cats. Cats. <coughs> yeah. Dogs. What else? Fish. What else? Sharks? Raccoons, very good. Dolphins? Dolphins? <laughs> Not so much dolphins, but they could if they walked. <laughs> Came on out of that marine life. Okay, we are all predators to the frog. Because a lot of people like to do things to frogs that you shouldn't do. But a lot of people eat frogs because that is the way food is. Frog legs are food to a lot of places like England and France. But in this state, you are allowed to kill and gig bullfrogs. How many of you know that big bullfrogs are invasive species? Okay. For, for people that like to do that and eat the frog legs, the only thing is I teach <coughs> how to ID the frog to make sure you don't kill the wrong kind. And we also have a rule that if you get a bullfrog in your pond, I have a special go pass that we do this, and we do this. For anybody that's fish and wildlife here, 
I don't kill the bullfrogs. I send them one way, FedEx, to Florida, to my biology teacher in Miami, and he will set them free there because they're legal, so we don't kill frogs. That's where they live. I have a, yep. Well, they're from the East Coast and originally from out of the state. So you guys want to go see some fun displays? Yeah! And we're going to bring out some live animals as we do it? Yeah! Yay! Okay, cool. Did anybody, uh, pick, there's flyers on gardens, how to get a hold of me. There's business cards. There's brochures on backyard habitat and ponds. If you want me to send you anything, I will email it to you. That way you don't have to carry the paper around. So you can always get a hold of me for any questions that aren't answered today, all right? This first demo garden display is something that you can do for frogs if you would like to raise Pacific tree frogs in your yard. The reason why it's so important is it's easy. It's only an inch of water with small little bowls, broken pots, and things that you can use that are even recyclable. There's two broken pond without the cords we've cut off in the back there. Things that you would normally pitch, you can use underneath the bushes for frogs to be raised. There's also a little flying saucer somewhere was the little, it's on that frisbee. side, for the kids that don't want to use frisbees anymore. Oops, got it? That's all you need for a Pacific tree frog to breed, is this much water. And they will lay a clutch of eggs. Hey kids, say clutch. Frogs lay a clutch that's a round jelly mass of eggs. Toads lay a strand of pearls. So their Ooh. eggs are in a strand. Frogs are in a what? Clutch. Okay. So all you need is a bowl, or you can submerge a pot halfway in if it's not broken. This is a very simple way to do a, a, a little demo garden for frogs. Cool? Girl Scouts, you guys can make these. You can paint them. And froggies will love them. People say, oh, froggies aren't going to live in there. They won't stay in there. But those are pit stops, like a hotel. So froggies go in, take a little water and soak. Because how do frogs drink, kids? Do you know? No, nope, not their mouth. They drink through their skin. Say it a little louder. They drink through their skin. Through their skin. That's why bad water is bad for frogs with pesticides and runoff and oil and grease. Froggies won't soak in that water unless it's clean. And this will collect rainwater. And by the way, if you don't have rainwater and we're going to go through a drought again, add water from the sink is fine. It will, it'll change and it'll be perfect within a day for a frog. It's a tiny one. And is that food? No. That would be food for frogs. Yes, it would. So there's food here already. We just need frogs, right? We're going to go see them. So here, this is a display of what we take when I go to little table displays. This is a plastic frog. But the reason why they live in that little hut like that is because those little ants will climb up into the top of these pots that have been outside for a while. Because what is a creepy crawler? What's everybody afraid of? Spiders. Spiders! And spiders will lay in the top of these pots and they will make a what, kids? Web. web. And what gets caught in the web? Bugs. Flies. Flies and? Bugs. Yeah. Ants and bugs. And what eats those? The frogs. Yay. So there's your well, system. The, what, the frogs <laughs> and the spiders? Yeah. No, yeah. guess what? Frogs and spiders are best friends because the spider collects all the food for the frog. So the frog will hang out, go in and eat when the spider is out. Mm. So they are friends. Kind of cool. They work together. Oh, yeah. The spider lady was very happy to hear that. I have a friend that works at the Western Park Zoo. She works with all the tarantulas. And I had no idea how much friends they are between each other. So one right there. Lunch. They definitely need to Okay, do you guys want to see the next pit stop? Yeah! Okay, you can look at the web. We're going to walk around over here to the next stop. Does anybody have any questions about this? Can you follow her? Pretty simple. Okay. Can you walk around? Sure. Yeah, you can walk around.